this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for Knockout TV. I might get beaten, and I might get knocked down. But you cannot kill me. Christy Martin! Christy Martin put women boxing on the mat. The first women's bout shown on pay-per-view. I was on top of the world, but my private life was the opposite. You're about to meet a husband and a wife team you won't forget. I said, Christy, I'm going to make you the best woman fighter in the world. Some way I had to save me. Boxing was my survival. Welcome to Knockout TV Podcast. I am with Christy Martin. You're basically the, uh, what is it, the originator, the first woman of boxing, maybe we call? I don't know. I think you could, I can, I think you could get many different um, uh, descriptions from many different people. But this is the whole thing about uh, me with my boxing career. I came into uh, the world of boxing back in 1989 and just wanted to fit in. I just wanted to be a, I wanted people to come to the fights and when they walked away say, wow, she was a good fighter. Not that she was a good woman fighter. I wanted to be a good fighter. Well, you right. And that's where I, I still feel that same way. It's like I, I don't want to be known as just a good woman fighter. I wanted I want people to say, "Wow, she was a good fighter. She she threw a good um, a good hook. A good, she did throw yeah, really you know, good punches, good combinations, and, and took a pretty good shot too. Yeah, but and never went backwards. I, I you always yeah. came forward. I wanted to go forward and make you know. Fight. But you look at your. And you still, you got your nose. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, you know, it's great. A nose that was broken a couple times. And it, it's no, you were so, so exciting to watch. I mean, me, I'm going to tell you straight out. I'm like, oh, geez, women boxers. Right, right, right. You know, but you fought. You were not pity patty. You were exciting. Look, I wanted to knock you out with every punch I threw, including my jab. I felt like if I hit you really hard with the jab, then you're going to be thinking, oh shit, what's the right hang on to feel like? So let me hit you hard with the jab and let's just start it out, you know, from a war. Let's, from word go, let's make it a war. When you first walked into a gym, what was, you know, was it like, oh gee, you know, was it kind of, or were you accepted? No, it was definitely kind of, oh my God, we have a woman in that gym. Uh, so no, I had a lot of a lot of doors shut in my face, a lot of uh, a lot of obstacles to cross as I went through my boxing career. Even after signing with Don King, it was there were still um, on the smaller shows that he put me on, still hurdles I had to get through. A lot of hurdles. Know, um, doctors didn't want to do the the exam because you must be here to be a round car girl or something. And I mean, I certainly did not look like a round car girl. <laughs> But you know, because of fem you're a female, yeah, you're, you're, you're not a you're, fighter, you're, so right. don't you're waste my time. totally different. And you know, you, you get in shitty situations basically yeah. because you're the female fighter. But we just kept staying uh, true to ourselves, and, and I just kept working hard, and finally broke through the doors. That's great. You you know, you're an inspiration. You've been through a lot. Oh my gosh, you. When is the movie coming out? The movie is uh, actually starting to air or starting to film in late I'm July. I'm just, I'm August. just joking. I didn't even realize no, that there was a movie. Actually, Amy but Schumer. What? Amy Schumer is. Uh, they're in the works now for her to sign Amy on. Amy Schumer playing you? Yes. Oh come on, you gotta get somebody better than that. No, uh, but she's, no, she's, she's awesome. She's, 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 you know, huge. She has no, she's fans, awesome. That's fantastic. And um, she's ready to make that transition from, you know, just comedy. Because that was my reaction at first. I'm like. I'm honored, but there's really nothing funny about my life. No, and, um, you're right. Like, no, no, no. She's she wants to make that transition into a, a more serious and dramatic role, and and she does have a um, a real stand on like gun control and stuff. So it's 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 not going to be a far stretch, I don't think, for her to. Uh, are are to you? Come over. How are you as far as telling your story? Uh, uh, you, you know, it, it's. You, I mean, you've been through things that sometimes I wouldn't want to bring up. You know, the violence that you've been through. Is it something like you want to tell the world about what you've gone through or they approached you and, you know, like, were you iffy about doing this movie? Well, you know, at first when I signed the movie, I was kind of excited about it. I thought, yeah, wow, it's really God. cool, you know, movie about your life. But then now that it's here, I'm like, oh my goodness, my life is going to be out there for everybody to critique. And, um, but, but, with telling my story, I always say that God left me here for a reason, and that reason is to help other people, other people that are in domestic violence situations, and, and just in tough situations. Sometimes you just need a little shot in the arm that, hey, if she can do it, I can do it. And, and I think if I don't get out there and share my story and, and help to try to give people a little more courage and inspiration, yeah. that, that I have, I have um, 
I've not done what I should do. And that's, I failed me and I felt God for leaving me here. So I don't, I don't want to do that. It's, you know what, you're, you're, you're going to open a lot of eyes. You know, and you did it in the ring, and now you're going to do it outside the ring and make awareness. And even, like you said, if you if certain people, oh, wow, 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 right. there's awareness of, of abuse. Right. And, and it's great. And that's, that's what so many people, they don't really understand uh, domestic violence. It can not just be physical. It doesn't mean that somebody's beating the shit out of you every no, day. No, exactly. Um, it means the control and the... Um, just like the emotional abuse is, is what I was under for so long was being controlled and, and manipulated and lied to. Um, that's just what people, it's hard to have people understand And it's hard, it's hard to get away from that. It's hard to get away from it. Yeah, it's yeah, hard to get away. Because those abusers are real good at, at um, convincing you that they're the only savior for you. Very scary. Very, but you know what is great? It, that smile right now. <laughs> no, it's great. And you, we're at the Boxing Hall of Fame and this, you must be soaking this up. Look. This is, must be wonderful. I started coming here in 1996, and I was actually the Grand Marshal of the parade that year. That is great. And I, I just, I'm a big boxing fan. I, I love it. I think there's nothing better than to be around all these legendary fighters and to listen to their stories. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in seventh heaven. This is so great. It is a pleasure having you on Knockout TV, and uh, I am so glad I got a chance to meet you and talk to you. And um, it's an absolute pleasure, Chrissy Martin. Thank you so much for coming on Knockout TV. Okay. And what's going on with the movie? We got the movie deal. The movie sign. We just can't announce it yet, but it's coming. It'll right, be in just soon. We're good. Thank All right. You. I'm looking forward to it. I'll reach out to you because I got video. Okay. Good interview awesome. stuff. Something else does, and that's courage. And that fight turned within a matter of seconds from being a an event that was being laughed at and ridiculed in the arena to one that absolutely thrilled the people who were watching. The fight caught the attention of fans outside the ring as well. The victorious Christy Martin landed on the cover of Sports Illustrated, which touted her as boxing's new sensation. The pole miner's daughter had come a long way from her small town in West Virginia. She left home to become a school teacher, but wound up in a gym in Tennessee. When she showed up at my gym, she showed up with her mother, a little baby Pomeranian dog, and a Christy. And I'm going like, oh my God, in my gym I got a woman, a dog, and uh, a mother. I said, this can't work, you know, she's gotta go. I had it rigged up with one of my lightweights to have Christy's ribs broken. Well, you know, she caught on fast. She trained harder than my men fighters. She paid better attention to my men fighters. And I told Christy, I said, I'm gonna make you the most famous woman fighter in the world. And I think between both of us, we've done that. Even the skeptics admitted that Christy had talent, but talent alone wouldn't be enough. The best opportunity required the right connections. She came to me in distress um, and asked me would I promote her. Uh, I was sort of hesitant, you know, I didn't know uh, whether I would or whether I wouldn't, but I told her to demonstrate what she could do, you know, in the ring. And so she jumped up and she started shadow boxing and she was throwing uh, a lot of combinations and uh, uh, hooks to the body and things, you know, that I thought was very impressive. <laughs> King became the first major promoter to sign a woman to a contract, a dream most fighters, male or female, never achieve. Boxing is a very much a male-dominated sport, and, and that's why I tried to just do my thing, fit in, not cause any waves. But I would have things such as, um, why is she fighting on this card? She's taking so-and-so, you know, my male fighter spot. He should be on pay-per-view. He should be the fighter promoted by Don King. Since the fight last March, Martin has been bombarded with media and publicity requests. Her boxing outfit is on display at New York's Fashion Cafe, and she's fielding movie offers. Martin seems aware that knockouts inside the ring, combined with marketing outside the ring, may be the best way to prolong her earning power. It's just as any business, and that's what boxing is, is a business. You have to promote your product. And I, Christy Martin, and my product. So I need to go out there and worry about selling myself. I can't go out there and worry about putting all of women's boxing on my shoulder and carrying everyone to the forefront. Christy's talented. Uh, she's talented uh, both in her 
her ability in the ring and her ability to promote herself and to carry herself in a way that, that people find captivating. Once considered the lowest rung on the boxing ladder, women are now a curiosity in great demand. While women once were earning $50 to $100 per round to fight on an undercard, many now receive 10 times that amount. Like a lot of promoters, when we first started out, we put Christy on the card, but they said, Christy, you don't get paid, and you guys got paid for the opponent. Uh, after the fight, they would come to me and they'd say, guys, she stole my crowd, she stole my press, she was the best fight of the night, which you got to have to bring her back. Christie's fights now, I don't think you're going to get her in the ring for less than 100000 Look at me, Jim. Look at me. From the beginning, I financially supported you, your family, and any and all of your significant others. And the only repayment I asked for many times was for you to let me go, not harmed physically, emotionally, or professionally. How was I repaid for taking care of you all those years? Blackmailed, addicted to coke, you sharing what I thought was private sex acts, but what really stands above all these things is you leaving me for dead on the bedroom floor. You coloring your hair and taking a shower, leaving me there, dead, stabbed, shot, bleeding. When I finally was able to run out of the house while you were in the shower calling your hair. Thank God a motorist stopped by and picked me up and took me to the emergency room. The doctors there, after seeing my leg, they wondered how I walked, how I was able to run out of the house. Was I ever going to walk again? That's what they were wondering. But when you saw, before I ran out, before you saw that I wasn't dying fast enough from just the stab wounds, you shot me. You shot me with my own gun, basically point blank. And guess what, mother I walked out. I walked out. By the grace of God, by the grace of God.